up you all it is your girl Quan. welcome back to the pop Quan vlog if you are new here make sure you like comment subscribe and what's up my popcorn cardinals what's up to another video today is going to be a diy everybody knows i can never do anything by myself i always just get it just so make it so much easier for my life because i am not good with diys you can see in my half up half down video i'm not good with that so everyone knows I'm about to graduate. Stating that I'm about to graduate, I am super excited. So I wanted to take some pictures. I've seen this girl take these pictures before. Um, I really, 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 really did like these pictures that she took. But I personally was like, I don't know how they're gonna turn out because I didn't think my pictures were gonna look good. So I didn't really know how I want to take my graduation pictures, but that's just besides the point. So she basically took some pajamas, she took some pictures with some pajamas on. So I'm gonna try to insert a clip of the picture itself so y'all can see where I'm going with this. All right, so the DIY today is going to be making me those luxury pajamas that everybody is wearing with the fur on them. I personally wanted those and I went and looked at the price and they were 300 plus. I was like, oh hell to the no. Oh no ma'am, I will not be paying that much money for no pajamas. I just felt like that. I seen my favorite YouTuber have them all, Aaliyah J. She had them all and I was just like, ah, Aaliyah, you're breaking, you're breaking my pockets. Cause I love Aaliyah J's fashion. So that's like one of my favorite YouTubers. I love her fashion. Her fashion sense is like, Mwah. if you don't follow Aaliyah J, go follow her now because it's like crazy. So what I did was I ordered me some pajamas off of Amazon. Um, I think this is Sior, Ciro. Zero? I don't know how to pronounce it, honestly. I'm just not gonna lie to y'all. So I ordered these satin silk pajamas from them. And basically, I wanted to see if I can recreate these pajamas that everybody has been wearing on Instagram. So these are the satin pajamas. They are they are very much see-through. I do wanna advise y'all, they are see-through. This is a size medium. Um, they come in a great size. I'm gonna put them on so y'all can see what they look like before and what they're going to look like once I actually do them. This is the top. I should have got a small, but I was kind of scared because everyone knows that I'm extremely curvy and I just wasn't feeling it. So this is a little feather things that I got. I got them in like a, a little cream color, if you want to say that. I got two yards of this. So yeah, I got this heat um, bond. It's like this tape that you can put on there so you don't have to glue on it. All you gotta do is press your iron against it and it successfully works. I seen this YouTuber do it. So guess what? We're gonna jump right into this DIY. I'm gonna show you the pajamas and I'm gonna show you how I do this, okay? Let's go. So the first thing you want to start with is your iron. Next, your tape and the little fur and your silk pajamas. And you're gonna start at the bottom. And I realized like in mid of doing this, I realized I had to flip them inside out because I was watching the YouTube video as I was going and I flipped them inside out and then I just, you know, basically circled them like twice to see what it was gonna fit like. I took the tape out and when I took the tape out, well, the heat, the heat tape yeah that um when i took that out i realized right here once i actually pressed down one i really did mess up y'all i'm just gonna say that i really did mess up i really did and i got a wet like towel kind of deal like a towel look right here this is when i knew i messed up because you're supposed to put the tape down first and then you're supposed to put the actual piece of material or the little cloth or whatever that is I don't know the little fur you're supposed to put the tape down first and then you're supposed to put the actual fur down that's what you're supposed to do and i realized i was burning the actual fur itself y'all this was a diy for real i'm always messing up you need to just basically line it at the top and then your fur doesn't burn look at that little piece of fur it's just burning as i go just burning so I started, I flipped it and went to the next side and I started to get the hang of it a little bit. And that's when I started doing it at the top, but I still was burning stuff. Look, look how I'm burning it. Like I was so blowed. I'm like, why did I do that? Why did I do that? 
it just didn't look right. So I kept going, I kept going, I kept burning fur, and I just kept burning fur. And I flipped it, and I had to like basically double, I think you should double it to make sure that it looks right. Once you keep doubling it, it'll like make the fur thicker so it doesn't look so flimsy at the bottom. And I noticed like I needed two instead of one, but I decided to just go ahead and use the one that I had, but I ordered a second one. And it didn't come out bad, but it just wasn't what I expected. But long story short, I really honestly did a really good job. And I was very shocked. This is actually easier than what I thought it was going to be. I I can't believe I actually did it. So, yeah, this is my DIY. I give myself a 7.5 out of a 10. I promise you I did really good. I really did good. And this is where I went to the sleeves right here. The sleeves were extremely easy because by this time I already knew what I was doing. I wanted to do, like, try out to do the pants, but look at the pictures. And I did really great. Look at my pictures. I need just a little bit more fur, but thank y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe, like, and comment, and I will see you all on the next Popcorn Vlog.